And I just want to let her know and everybody else know that there is a God and God is great. Well put right there. And Kevin Lewis joins us live from the fire scene. Kevin, any explanation as to why those alarms didn't work? No, not yet, Nancy, but residents say they would sound all of the time and add it's awfully ironic they didn't work when needed most. Nancy? Kevin Lewis live for us at the scene of that fire in southeast. Kevin, thank you. Remember, you can join ABC 7's Day of Giving for victims of Hurricane Florence. You can call 703-236-9220 to make a donation to the Salvation Army's relief effort. In fact, our parent company, Sinclair Broadcasting, will be matching the first $100,000 donated. We can hear the phones ringing right now. Thank you for doing that. It's very generous. Thank you to everyone who's called in all, and already. No question. Yeah. All right, Josh, today was a really nice day. Yes, uh, and just hanging on to a few clouds that are kind of stuck around. But otherwise, hey, again, when we get a dry day, it seems like it's a, it's a blessing these yeah. days. Right. We, we can put the boat and paddles away, you know. Right. Uh, so let me start you off with a couple cameras around the area. Here's some of the cloud cover that's been a little stubborn for us, but in general, still not a bad evening. Off toward Friendship Heights here from our new tower camera and then over by the bay as well. This is from the eastern side of the bay, Stevensville, looking across toward Annapolis. You can see little sunshine fighting through. Back here closer to uh, Roslyn, we've got 79 degrees for you at Reagan National. Our dew point is still in the upper 60s, so it does make it feel a little bit warmer. So you're stuck with some mugginess, a little bit of that sticky factor. That's going to stick around for us tomorrow as well. Right now, cloud cover radar, not too much going on for us aside from those clouds. Any rain today really firing up into the southwestern parts of the Shenandoah Valley. We zoom out, though. I want to take you over here. This might seem far away out here near Iowa, Nebraska, but that's actually going to be our rain that's moving in as we get into late September. Saturday and throughout Sunday. So keeping an eye on that cold front. Tonight we stay predominantly dry, patchy fog possible. Temperatures back in the mid 60s. So again, comfortably cool to get you started tomorrow morning. But a lot of cloud cover is going to be around at least for the first half of the day. Watching as temperatures work their way back up into the 80s with more sunshine later on. We've got this slim chance for rain, especially in the morning hours right around the DC metro. It would just be a quick shower and then especially farther off to the west a little bit later on. So let's start off here. Future cast tomorrow at 8 30 you do see that quick round of rain. Now, it's not going to be for everybody, and I think it would be light enough. You can probably dodge it pretty easily. Now, if you're waiting out for a metro or if you're walking to work or walking to the bus stop, then you probably want the umbrella. We get here to lunchtime. Most of us are drying out, but still with the clouds. Then as we head into the afternoon, things start to look better around D.C., but we will fire up a few showers closer to Interstate 81, Winchester, Hagerstown, these areas near the mountains where we're a bit more likely for some afternoon rain. Most of us, though, as we head into the evening, closer to dinner time, starts to look a lot better. We'll clear out, able to kick off your weekend, get out, do something, and you don't have to worry about any wet weather till we get to late Friday night heading into Saturday. But watch this. This front pushes through Saturday, but for most of us, it will be dry. Not looking for much rain on Saturday, but let me just get you into Sunday because that's when we're looking at a better chance for that wet weather. More cloud cover as well. So all in all, Saturday, a much better day for us than what we're going to see on Sunday. 83 degrees tomorrow, 83 still on Saturday. Fall officially begins, but it won't really feel like it until we get into Sunday. Your first full day, 68 for your high temperature with the clouds and that better chance for wet weather as we get into Monday. Still rainy, still into Tuesday. Finally, some drier weather as we get toward Thursday of next week. Quite the dip there to 68. Josh, thank you very much. This is going to be a good matchup this weekend. I know it is going to be great. The Packers are coming to town. The Redskins are getting ready to host Aaron Rodgers and company, which means the defense has to figure out how to stop him. Barbara Comstock votes with Donald Trump 97.8% of the time, including the Trump tax plan that gives almost all the benefits to the richest 1%, while middle-class families in Northern Virginia pay higher taxes. Comstock's vote added $2 trillion to the debt, and Republicans want to cut Social Security and Medicare to pay for it. Barbara Comstock, 97.8% with Donald Trump, is wrong for Virginia. DCCC is responsible for the content of this advertising. My name is Christopher, and at the age of 19, I became addicted to heroin. Thank God for my mom, because she knew something was going on and pressed me on it until I came clean about my drug use and my addiction. Within the hour, I was at Recovery Centers of America. As soon as I accepted treatment, it was like a miracle. Recovery Centers of America saved my life. If you're struggling with addiction, don't wait. Call now. 1-800-RECOVERY.